Hello, this is Al K0CN, and I thought I'd share with you a little project I've just completed, a Wi-Fi controlled remote antenna switch. It's a rather straightforward project, and I thought it might be of interest to others who are experimenting with remote controlling their radio stations. And while browsing through eBay, I came across some boards, circuit boards, that allowed me to switch between two or four or even six antenna ports, and I immediately recognized I could control this over the internet. Here's a picture of the board that I purchased. It's a two-port board and contains two relays, two variistors, a couple of diodes, and two terminal blocks. And here's a second photo of the board with the components mounted. The remaining parts that I needed to complete the project included a project box, and I used an aluminum bud box, three SO239 connectors, and two female DC power jacks. Here's a wiring diagram for the Wi-Fi board and the antenna switch. We're running the 12 volts required to drive the antenna relay through the Wi-Fi board and connecting it to the normally open contact on the relays. When I press the button and select a relay on the Wi-Fi board, it will close and send 12 volts to the antenna relay. The red line represents the positive 12 volts and the black line represents the negative. The blue dotted line represents the flex remote power cable I have connected to relay 1 on the Wi-Fi board in my station. In this photo you can see that I've drilled the holes and mounted all the hardware. I also found it necessary to attach the control wires for the relays because of lack of space after they were assembled. In this photo you can see that I've completed the wiring for the relays and have also added a tinned number 14 wire from the SO239 connectors to carry the RF. You'll notice that the circuit board is designed so that the two antennas, antenna 1 and antenna 2, would be connected to the outside SO239 connectors. The center connector I've chosen to mount on the end of my aluminum box because it works well with my station setup. In my case, I routed the lead from the SO239 on the end of the box to the soldering pad at the center of the circuit board. Finally, here are views of the outside of the box after it's completed. Now for the Wi-Fi control part. I've been using for various applications the Sonoff Wi-Fi controlled relay board and found this application work very well for my remote antenna switch. You can purchase single channel or multiple channel Sonoff boards both available on eBay and Amazon, and I've chosen to use a four-channel board, one of which I would use to control my flex radio, and the other two I would use to control the relays on the antenna switch. You can see the Wi-Fi controls that are available on my cell phone and allow me to switch on and off the radio and to choose between antenna 1 or antenna 2 by simply pushing a button on my phone. While I'm expecting this is going to be a real convenient way of controlling my relays while I'm operating remote. Well, I think that's it for this video. I'll bring it to a close. And I certainly hope the information here has been of use as you think about applications for remoting your station. With that, I'll wish you all good luck, good DX, and best 73s from Al, K0CN.